Hi, it's Louise Spiral Bright Insight. Just a quick check in regarding the energy. So today we have Mercury meeting with Neptune in Pisces and both this, this, these planets conjunct will form a square to the galactic centre now. Mercury and Neptune meet up fairly regularly because Mercury has an 88 day orbit. So this is not unusual. It's already met with Neptune and Pisces before, admittedly not as far into Pisces because it, this conjunction is taking place at 27 degrees. So we are really in the third deacon of Pisces. Now, Mercury represents our mind, our mindset, what we're thinking, what we're learning about, the information that we're receiving and sharing and how we communicate and connect and network with other people. Neptune is more our sort of imagination, our dream state, our subconscious and our spiritual selves. So we're definitely going to be feeling a lot more spiritual. Pisces as a sign, it is the last sign of the zodiac. It is very dreamy in itself. It's a water sign. There's lots of sensitivity, psychic ability, psychic awareness here. So you can start to sort of see the themes that are coming up. There is no form. There is no structure in Pisces. It's certain to say that, you know, if there's information coming through, it's going to be quite difficult to discern whether it's real or not. It's not going to be tangible. Um, it's potentially very ethereal. We might even find ourselves stepping into the void to some extent with this conjunction. And with the square to the galactic centre, the galactic centre being the centre point of our universe, sending out very high frequency information, light codes, frequencies. So this square is interesting because it is going to really encourage us or even challenge us to think bigger, to dream bigger, to go way beyond kind of what we thought we knew or what we've believed we knew. It's going to challenge our understanding of the world and how we fit within the bigger picture. So taking us way out beyond sort of humanity um, and our existence on Earth. Um, but because it's in Pisces and because the galactic centre in Sagittarius is mutable, it's going to feel very sort of surreal, potentially. It's going to be hard to know what's true. It's going to feel like everything's shifting, that we're standing on quicksand, if you like. There is no solid base. It's going to be quite difficult to ground. And the following day on Saturday, we have got five planets in Pisces. So the Pisces energy is really strong, but the Pisces energy is sort of lifting us up out of our day-to-day -day reality, taking us higher, sort of encouraging us to move into the void, into the abyss, into all that is. And, you know, really tap into our more compassionate, more spiritual sides and really sort of contemplate and think about what more there is to life other than sort of the 3D day-to-day -day reality. Now, while this is going on, we have quite a challenging aspect on Saturday, which will still be um, live or influential on Sunday as well. And this is Mars in Aquarius squaring Uranus in Taurus. Now, this square feels tense, because both these planets are quite, how should we say, they're, well, they're strong, they're powerful. Mars in its lower expression can come step forward as aggression. So, you know, we might be feeling quite feisty, quite angry potentially, you know, that's the sort of energy that comes through. Uranus is in Taurus, which is fixed Earth, and Uranus wants to break us out of where we have become fixed and stuck, where things have become so set that it's very different, difficult to consider another alternative or a different reality. So we've got to remember that Uranus is working for our greatest and highest good. Uranus wants us to wake up to see a bigger picture, to understand truths. Mars is working on the behalf of the collective through Aquarius, pushing us towards our future, pushing us towards our ideals so that we can sort of start to really get a grasp of our hopes and dreams and wishes and where we want to go, where we want to be in the future. Uranus also being a very futuristic energy, quite electrical as well in nature. So, you know, this can 
express or um, present itself in many different ways, as with all astrological, as with all astro astrological aspects. But it is a time where we are going to potentially have a bit of a shake up, whether that happens in a physical way in the earth. There could be events over the weekend um, due to this sort of clashed, challenging energy. It could also mean, you know, slight and more rebellion among the people. Revolution is kind of the energy that comes through uprising. You know, there might be something that everyone is getting quite angry about, but it is about disruption and chaos for the greatest good. Sometimes we have to go through these times, these challenging times, so that people can start to really sort of think, oh, actually, I need to do something about this. You know, where we've maybe sort of let things slide, let things fly, let others get away with certain things, certain behaviours, certain um, situations, that may not be the case coming into this weekend. So, you know, let's see what happens, but just to be aware, but the Piscean energy, there is this other option to sort of rise above and sort of see things from a higher perspective, take a step back and look at it from a distance, if you will. So that is going to help us too. Um, but the energy is quite scattered. You could be feeling more anxious, quite nervous. Like I said, it is very electrical energy when Uranus is activated. So see if you can ground, although I would suggest that grounding might be difficult with so much Pisces in the chart. And then on Sunday, of course, we have the beautiful new moon in Pisces. I have done a video about that for you on this channel on YouTube. So please go and check that out if you haven't done already, as I explain how the energies are working and also how the fixed star energies are influencing us as well. So, you know, potentially interesting, potentially tricky few days. But remember, as with all astrology, these are always transits. Nothing is fixed. Nothing is permanent. Everything is subject to change constantly. So just move through it. Know that, you know, it, yeah, it's not forever. And uh, sometimes things do need to get a little bit rough and a little bit disruptive in order for us to actually sit up and take notice. All right. Thank you for watching.